So we would be discussing a prefix and suffix min max question from Code Chef contest 155. Prefix. In this question, they have provided us with an array. So array B is given to us. We have to perform some computations on B in order to generate various combinations of array A. Now, they have provided us a formula, which is any index in array B is equal to the sum of the elements till J, where J is lying from one to I, minus maximum of the elements from one to I. This is the mathematical formula of B, which will help us to compute the elements using the elements present in array A. Now, they have provided us with some constraints as well, which are the input is lying from 10 to the power 6, from 1 to 10 to the power 6, and the sum won't be exceeding 10 to the power 6 only. So we would be using int all through, no use or no need to use long. After this, they have provided some test cases, which we'll be discussing here. So the first test case that and in output we print all the combinations of uh, array. Yes. No. Now, in the output, we want only one possible combination of the array, okay. which is the valid combination, and it must follow the uh, approach that is explained in the question. Okay. So I would be explaining a test case that is mentioned in the question, which is zero, minus two, and one. This is array B. Now, one of the possible output which is mentioned in the question is array A, which would be 3, minus 2, and 4. Now, from array A, we can produce array B using this formula, which is given in the question itself. Now, let's see how we can do that. Um, so, Moving from going to the first index, which is three. What is there in the formula? They are saying that we need to take the sum of all the elements till I from one till I. So the sum, the current sum would be three only since we are on the first element itself. Minus they are taking the maximum element till I. So it would be again three only. Now the result would be zero. zero. Moving forward, what would be the summation of these two elements? This is for beta, right? Yes. This is this is B1, this is B2. This would be one minus three. One minus three. Since three is the maximum element. So we get minus two. Minus two. Moving forward to B3. We have, we are on this index. Now, what is the sum of this? Five. Five. Now, maximum what? is four. The output would be one. one. So we get, we can observe that we have got the array B. B. Now, the main question which arises is that we need to generate array A 
we need to generate A using this formula. Okay. Okay. How can we do that? Let me write that formula once again. Summation. Summation of elements from 1 till i minus maximum of 1 till i. This is b of i. So how can we get a if b is given to us and a we need to find out. How can we do this? This is the main question. The whole core of the question. Can you think about it? You can try with if b of 1. Okay. If b of 1. The generic formula for b of 1. Okay. The generic formula for b of 1 would be a of 1 minus. That is, uh, sum. That is the, the sum till a of 1. Hmm. Maximum of a of 1. Hmm. There are no other elements. No other elements. So here b of 1 will always be 0. The reason? Because sum is only single element a1, maximum element a2. So it would be 0 only. Huh. So can we say that for every element, every element of b1 would be 0? Mm, yes, it will be 0. Okay. So uh, every, not every element, but first, the element. first element. Every, for every array b, first element will be 0. It will be 0. This is the thing that we observe. Hmm. In the given test cases also, the second test case that the question is providing us, that is that too contains B at zeroth position as zero. So how can we find out A? Similarly, if we do for B2. Sum till a1, a1 plus, a2. plus 8 minus maximum of a1. How can we get it? So p1 is always 0. Hmm. Then here a1 can be any value. Let's say 0 only. If a1 is 0. Okay. We cannot take 0. Uh, maybe we can take 0. Okay. Can we take A1 can be any value. Any value. A1 can be any value. Because it got cancelled again and again. So it doesn't affect B A of 0. B of 0. Right. So B of 2 would be A2. A1 can be anything. Hmm. Let's assume Let's A1 is X. Minus maximum of A2, comma x so what's next what can we do next we already know beta value mm -hmm. which is uh, given in the question beta mm -hmm. and uh, if you somehow figure out or if you fix x as the maximum value mm -hmm. then we can find it okay so if we fix x as the maximum element in the whole array so, B2 would be A2 plus X minus X. X and X got cancelled. A2 would be equal to B2. Hmm. We have drawn one more conclusion, conclusion that in every array, the second element of both the arrays will be equal hmm. and the first element will be, zero. will be zero. First element can be anything. And we thought if it is maximum, then second element is equal to B. Okay. Now, furthermore, what can we do? What is the uh, like? What is the formula to derive till this part? How can we compute further elements? So A of I will be equal to. If we rewrite this above formula. Which is instead of 2, if you put i, it will become bi. 
bi equal to ai plus uh, sum up till i minus 1 minus a1 which is the maximum always okay so how do we come to this formula using what using this above observation we have concluded okay so this observation was provided in mark question itself now if i want ai then i'll send remaining elements okay to the other side so bi plus ai minus summation of ai till ai minus 1 from 1 to ai minus 1 from 1 to ai minus 1 so this is the formula that we need to use for finding the elements present in array a so can we move further now can we explain the pseudo code provided and some we can calculate for every point we'll keep adding a of i to the sum we'll keep updating the sum after every iteration and maximum is fixed which is a of 1 yeah a of 1 is we have assumed that that is a of 1 huh. we have assumed that a of 1 would be our maximum element mm. so we can move forward to the pseudo code we can take firstly we need to take how many arrays we need to input so we need to read take t as the number of test cases that we need to run now for each test case we need to read n which is the length of the array b after that we need to initialize the size initialize the array okay after that set a of 0 as the maximum element hmm. we can take maximum to one of the constraints also so what were the constraints here? the constraints are like this till 2 to the power 2 into 10 power 6 okay these are array element constraints yes okay so we can take this also and or we can value is 2 into 10 power, power 6. 6 okay yeah we can take any other element also if we want and uh, after that we need to run a loop from 1 to n minus 1 which is the size of the array and also initialize sum to a of 0 can we do that yes we can also do that since we are starting loop from 1 uh -huh. we'll take sum to a of 0 okay so we have initialized sum also to a of 0 fine now we will start a loop for i from 1 to n minus 1 now we need to calculate using the formula which we have computed previously which is a of i is equal to b of i plus the first element in array a minus the sum we have to calculate this in every iteration and add a of it to the sum and also add a of it to the sum update your sum okay. lastly we need to print so we can use for loop for that also that is quite easy one to n print all the elements of a of i and in the question it's given that 
they should be space separated so add a space also after finishing the whole iterations you need also need to add a new light don't forget to add that and then you are good to go for printing can we use a system dot out dot printer you can you can use system dot out dot printer and also but it might uh give you time limit exceeded error the passing it will pass one the one or two test cases after that it will give you time limit exceeded error so we need to use buffer, buffer readers. readers okay in order to avoid that error you can use buffer reader also okay. in java only using buffer reader would help you in c++ fast right okay, okay. <laughs> And time complexity for this question. Time complexity for this question, as we are using our loop, loop is running from one to n only, and we are using the optimized approach only. Like there is not much difference. There is not any difference between brute force and optimized approach in this question. So it would be bigo of n only, where n is the length of the array. Space complexity would be bigo of one only because uh, we are not occupying any extra spaces. 